joint, you better eat it too. Oh, While trust me, here. I'm gonna eat a lot more than this. <laughs> okay. Ba 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 ba. Welcome to another video. I'm really excited about this one because I love breakfast food. I'm here at a breakfast buffet, O'Grady's in Phoenixville, PA. It's on Saturdays and Sundays. Let's head inside and check it out. O'Grady's is a family restaurant open seven days a week, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for their weekend breakfast slash brunch buffet. And we're gonna try every single option they have and see what's good. I got everything on the hot bar, every single item they have up there. Lots of great stuff. I even got a salad today. The salad looks so good. You normally don't get salads in videos because it takes too long to eat. But let's go. Look at all this great stuff. Favorite thing about a breakfast buffet is Scrapple biscuits. So you know I'm going to start with that very first. I always like doing a double of Scrapple. And I don't normally put anything on it. Here we go. Mmm. That is good Scrapple. I'm not really a professional Scrapple eater. I will say that this is probably Hatfield Scrapple. Um, Hatfield makes very good Scrapple if you're interested in getting Scrapple. Now the buffet does come with you know, one small glass of juice. Um, it's extra for the coffee. I think it's like $3 or so. The Scrapple is good when it just kind of melts in your mouth. So you got some cheese on the side. We'll try the difference between cheese and no cheese. Alright, so I'm going to do double cheese. Cheese is definitely better. I prefer melted cheese, but shredded cheese works. Next, I'm going to try these chicken wings. It's a little strange at 8 o'clock in the morning to be eating chicken wings, but we're going to go for it. It's actually a really good chicken wing. <coughs> Coating's not too thick. I don't normally eat them out just because there's just not a lot on it. If you order 10 wings, it really doesn't do anything for me. But I love getting them on a buffet like this. So you can just try them a little bit. If you come here, definitely try at least one chicken wing. They're actually pretty good, surprisingly. I was not expecting chicken wings today. They, they were good. French toast sticks? Wow, these are great. You see no syrup. To me, syrup covers things. You don't actually get to taste things, but these taste good in their own. Next plate is sausage links, bacon, two different types of potatoes. Start with the sausage. I'm gonna have to ask who sausage links these are. These are really good. They were exceptional sausage links. Absolutely getting more sausage links. Bacon. I mean, I'm not a big bacon fan. I like them on cheeseburgers. So eating them straight like this, kind of lacking. But, I mean, it tastes like bacon. I just don't like to eat bacon straight by itself. Potatoes. These are less seasoned than they appear. They're like average potatoes at a buffet. The second kind of sliced potatoes now. Well, I definitely prefer these potatoes the ones I just had. A can of a sauce on it. I guess it's potatoes are rotten, but it's not as cheesy as I would expect, but I think it's potatoes are rotten. The star of that plate was definitely the sausage. That is a must get. The second I would go with it, potatoes are rotten. The other potatoes and bacon, I, I mean, they taste just like I would expect, but if you're coming here, hit that sausage so far, have a chicken wing, and of course, always get scrapple. Try the tots. Easily the best, best potatoes. Not even close. Get the tater tots. They have mini pierogies up there. I think they're cheese, it looks like. Potato. Mm. I like that they're not overcooked. A lot of times they get real hard on the outside and dried out on a buffet, but not here. Scrambled eggs. Personally, I love scrambled eggs. I eat them all the time. And this is just exactly what I would taste, expect scrambled eggs to taste like. The star of that plate was the tater tots. They had a bunch of fresh fruit up there. 
and some different pastries. Mm. Watermelon is definitely the best. That was good. A little donut hole. Couple of pastries. If I had milk, I would definitely dunk this in milk. Cheese Danish. Mm. Excuse me, raspberry Danish. That would be my preferred one. That plate, I think the star definitely was the watermelon. You really don't get salads, but this did look good. There's not a lot of lettuce in here, it's mainly toppings. Everything looks so fresh. I love this kind of salad. I wouldn't say it's far from a healthy salad. If I was eating a healthy salad, it wouldn't be this. I'm going to fast forward through this because it takes way too long to eat a salad in a video like this, but this is my absolute favorite type of salad. I put a bed of greens down, whether it be lettuce or spinach, just something to make it look like you're trying to eat healthy. And then I just put on all the stuff I actually want to eat. Ham, peas, chickpeas, hard-boiled eggs, cheese, bacon bits, croutons if they have them. And surprisingly though, I use very little, if any, dressing. And this salad bar is perfect for me. It has literally everything I want in a salad. So high marks for the salad bar. I will eat this, but I'm gonna get some extra stuff to eat with this. So now that I've tried everything on the hot menu up there, I'm gonna go back and get my favorites and dig in and start some eating. I got my favorites from the first round. I'm gonna try them a second time to see if they really hold up or if I just ha happen to get lucky the first time through. But I do have to finish a couple of things from the first round. Waffles and pancakes, and also they have this apple, I guess apple, apple and oatmeal. They just put that out. I, well, I missed that the first time around, this apple and oatmeal. So let me finish up the rest of the first round. You know, I got this plate to use with my pancakes and waffles. I'm going to put the scrapple inside two pancakes. Scrapple sandwich. Either you like scrapple or you don't. I happen to be in love with scrapple. Best food ever. A little over the top best food ever, but... It's something I enjoy at every breakfast buffet. I'm going to try to never eat pancakes by itself anymore. Using it as a bun is absolutely the way to go. A waffle sausage sandwich. Definitely the way to go. Like I truly look forward to eating waffles and pancakes now. Right, this is the last item of the hot food section. The apples taste really good, but this is really, really sweet. I'm not a big fan of sweet stuff. So while it's enjoyable, I, I wouldn't get seconds of this. I've done the first round. I'm gonna go back around the second round, make sure I really like those things. Now, I just had the scrapple a second time. Of course, the scrapple's holding up. Have some more of these sausages, which I thought were incredible the first time around. They hold up, these are good. Now these potatoes, I'm glad I got the potatoes again, but it's just not um, holding up to the sausage. Sausage is definitely something you have to get when you come here. Try the pierogies. Definitely get the pierogies. I'm so fortunate I get to travel around and do this. This is so much fun. Try the tater tots. Absolutely. All right, will the chicken wings hold up? Let's go. They're still good. I don't know if I'm gonna eat a ton of them though. I prefer some type of sauce with it. I'm gonna put the chicken wings above the potatoes, but behind the sausage, pierogies, and scrapple. French toast sticks. These definitely advance. French toast sticks are good. Now we'll try the watermelon. It was fantastic the first time. I'm get, I got slices right next to the last piece, so I'm sure this is going to be great. Really, really good. I mean, it's in season now, so it's probably easier to get really good watermelon. But this is exceptional even for watermelon. I haven't seen you since Wing Bowl, man. How you doing? Oh, good. How are you? Doing good? Doing good. Everything going okay? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's really good. Excellent. Excellent. Just want to step by and say hi. Oh, thanks. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Should I do one more round to see which one's the best? Then I'll do one more round. 
these are the things that I find the best up there. Now, of course, it can vary from time to time, but I'm going to have these and see what I like best. Of course, I'm going to have a scrapple biscuit with cheese. That's probably going to make the list at almost every buffet. So we double stack it. Double the cheese. Let's go. That is good. If you come here, you should definitely try this. I don't know if you want to double stack the scrapple, but I think you should. Just because they have scrapple and biscuit, I don't like it automatically. If you overcook the scrapple or the biscuit's too dry, I'm not going to like it. But not here. The biscuit's good. The scrapple's good. I highly recommend that. On to these sausage links. Now, I've had a lot of these sausage links already, but let's see if I'm getting tired of them. Get these to become. All right, the tater tots. It right, seems wow, simple, but unusual. they're really good. Pierogies. Finish this up with watermelon. This is good. <laughs> that is too sweet. I was going to wrap the video, but I have to get some more of this watermelon. I had to get some more watermelon. This watermelon is exceptionally good. Here we go. A couple pieces left. I had to wrap the video because my battery's dying. The Grady's bre Breakfast Buffet, Saturday and Sunday. It's not a huge buffet. I showed you everything that's on it. But it's got lots of great stuff. It's fresh. And it's close to my house. So it's definitely something worth visiting if you're in the Phoenixville area. Thanks for coming down the video. And I'll see you guys again soon. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook at Real Notorious B.O.B. There are different shorter edits of all my videos.